Can you explain that? Can you, can you, the race to the bottom and, and can you, can you explain it in a way? So the reason I'm on you on this one is because the race to the bottom, you have, when you're building a brand, you have two options, mm-hmm. a race to the bottom yeah. or build a brand. Yeah. So I'd like, I just dig into that a little bit. Well, that's, that's what I noticed. I was like, we're beside these really big brands with a ton of money and a yeah. ton of investors and hundreds of people at their disposal. We're two people. Yeah. How are we going to stand out? How are we going to be different? Yeah. And if we try to compete with them on price, they're mm-hmm. going to crush us. Mm-hmm. They have economies of scale. They have contracts. They have relationships. We're never going to compete with them. Yeah. And so it's, it's either we just become a brand that has to constantly come out with cool, cool designs mm-hmm. and, and we have to constantly continue to try to be cool because we got this one cool design, the yeah. YYC design that was yeah. cool. Yeah. And it's like, what if one day people wake up and that design is no longer cool? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, because who knows? Mm-hmm. So our clothes have to stand completely on their own. We have to differentiate ourselves completely from the other companies mm-hmm. and do something that they would never do. Yeah, they can't go made in Canada. The big boys can't go made in Canada yep. because the damage is already done. They've grown fat off those healthy margins of mm-hmm. overseas production. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So now instead of competing with them on price we're going the other way we're competing with them on story we're competing with them on brand and now we're so differentiated from everyone else 